Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Look, quick disclaimer, what we're talking about is obviously Kevin Spacey. It's a little bit sensitive. I am just giving my opinion. Please, I want to hear yours down below. Please drop me a comment. I want to hear what you guys think of it. What's the right or wrong answer? Is there a right or wrong answer? Where do you see this going in the next year or two? What's next for Kevin? Please let me know down below and enjoy the video. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I raced home having read this story at work because I think this is an interesting time in uh well in life really sky news every news put the word in and news to it they're reporting it kevin spacey the once famous well the still famous actor who by all means has been shunned out of society cast aside put to the waste bin due to several accusations by several people that he was a rapist he had multiple charges for sexual assault against men now when this came out in 2017 not much happened however his response was similar to philip schofield in the fact that yes sorry i'm gay which again well, you know me if you've seen that video i think but i think using that as a scapegoat is pretty disgusting and not great having said all that he's been proven innocent so it's kind of crazy to me if i'm being honest so there's two there's two ways we can look at this firstly he nothing ever happened he was completely in the right he was falsely accused now i'd just like to read this here so between four men in 2001 2013 i suppose firstly why have they come out so late secondly what where what's happened to these four men now let's be honest um innocent till proven guilty i think this is a prime example of where that does not matter in today's world uh look i my opinion on this is i'm quite uncertain on what i think which i know is not a great opinion to have but firstly what 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 did these men say we we deserve to know this man's career and reputation is more or less ruined he might be able to do a tv show people might be able to watch his old films and tv and not feel dirty about doing it anymore it doesn't change the fact this man's career is pretty much been ran over by a tractor several times and then someone's taken a fat crap on it. It, it it's not brilliant for him so it took them more than 12 hours he's humbled he's been acquitted of seven counts so not one not two not three up to seven which is kind of incredible you know if it's one or two and you're acquitted you go okay someone made a full accusation but seven seven counts of sexual assault that's more than a, a an angry person that, that's a few people now he's obviously an oscar winner uh but the, the worrying part of this is the prosecutors told the jury the star had left the four complainants complainant feeling small diminished and worthless so it's actually his birthday today so weird how things have arrived so he, he said they were all denied and they were seeking financial gain attempting to end his career or giving false accounts to the jury so the they, the problem with this is is that by law all complainants are entitled to lifelong anonymity which is fair enough so they brought elton john in and his husband um who god knows what they said as far as the courts are aware he's innocent these were lies not true not true at all cried probably i'm not surprised so look here if you take a little gander here three have died now i'm not some conspiracy nut but one apparently committed suicide and another died in a car crash now okay things happen however these people weren't the first to make allegations towards him so let's be honest he's, he's probably a bit of an odd person shall we say put it nicely see and all this weird stuff he said at christmas i'm not going to read it out kill them with kindness i mean second spacey accuser to die in the past three months hmm that's weird apparently he killed himself which is kind of you know why would you come out with all this say all this and then kill yourself look there's two ways we can go about this he's either innocent and these people themselves who falsely accused him need to go in trial they have ruined this man's career ruined it and he, he probably won't get much back he's not going to make some spangled return like iron man's going to in five years time he's he's, he's done at it he, he's kaput or he did do it and he got away with it or he did something similar and it wasn't to the extent and he has some extremely good lawyers now let's look at court cases in the past let's go to a classic example this man i mean we don't know if he did it but he fucking did it i mean god damn he did it and he got away with it so i think this is a prime example of how money can completely dictate the way a court case finish starts and ends now don't get me wrong i'm no way accusing him but i'm unconfused how our law system allows for people's careers to be ruined get all these accusations made against them and completely affect this man's mental health you know personally i would feel very suicidal if this were me i've had loads of people falsely accusing me trying to ruin my life ruin my career destroy me not much else out there for you i mean it's sad to say but it's so true so he's either you know guilty got away with it which i think is not 
impossible I'm not saying it's likely but it's not impossible look at cases around us we've all seen we all know and but then why would they do it to ruin his career and status so they they need to be held responsible now then like i said earlier he did come out as gay so maybe he is just was a, a gay man who maybe got too drunk sometimes and maybe pushed himself onto people okay maybe he didn't do it quite to the extent but i think there's more to this than we know i seriously do so is he completely innocent who knows and i think his career is probably over you know i'd be baffled if people went near him he's not going to get a job in disney is he you know he's not going to get a job doing acting again he might go to broadway or whatever they do look who knows maybe he, he truly is innocent and he is well i'm really glad he got away with it but i i seriously suspect i'm smelling something stinky this isn't the first time now another one that i want to bring up slightly now the, this this fella's called ben mendy he was falsely accused of rape by multiple people he he was dropped from manchester city one of the best team probably we've ever seen grace the football pitch he was proven not guilty so again going back to my, my belief he's not guilty so what about these people who falsely accused him what happens to them i mean look i'm not a lawyer i didn't even go to university so that that sums up what sort of brain i've got here however i seriously seriously do not enjoy lying and liars especially when it's only frame of mind is to ruin someone's career and get a boatload of money that's what they want and that's what they do it brings on a larger question a larger principle what happens to these people now ben mendy's going off to a much worse league or a worse team but he gets to play again is that something similar that's going to happen to Kevin Spacey? Who knows? Who genuinely knows? It, it is worrying being a man. You know, what about if someone says this sort of stuff to you? But it also must be worrying being a woman. And also real victims. How, how can you trust these systems if these things did happen? I'm not saying they did. Don't get me wrong. As far as I'm concerned, they're both innocent. Because I have to believe what I'm told. However, it, it doesn't bring up a wider point. Like, why don't we know more? And if they were, you know, telling lies, then what's going on? And why, why are they getting away with it? They should be brought to justice for ruining people's lives again i'm not qualified at all to speak about this so not sure why i am but i think it's an incredible point guys i want to hear from you though seriously what happens next to kevin spacey does he go back to film tv win another oscar does he get his oscar back i'm pretty got sure he got that stripped what happens to everyone who's denounced him i mean a lot of people you speak to have been like oh kevin spacey kevin spacey is that going to be the same no and it shouldn't be because he, he, he's proven innocent correct who knows look let me know down below I'm really keen to hear from you guys take it easy and uh let's be gentle down there it's uh it's a it's a very sensitive topic take care guys